Hello, welcome back to Credit Style. Today I will be reviewing the A6 Gel NYC. And just gonna start off, I think this shoe is an absolute banger. Um, probably one of the best new silhouettes A6 has released in quite some time, besides I'd say maybe like the 1130s, which still have not made it yet to my channel. I need to get a pair of those and review them. But let's just focus on the Gel NYC for today. Um, this is an incredible pair of sneakers. Really like the comfort of it. It does come from another pair of A6 shoes. I believe it is the Cumulus 16, if I'm correct. Um, yeah, really good, really nice, very great comfort. Um, if you have never owned that shoe, which I wouldn't blame you, it's a pretty old pair of sneakers um, or running shoes. I would say it's pretty similar to the Count of 14s, which are having a really great time right now. Everyone's loving that pair of shoes. It's impossible to sometimes even get a color where you want because they drop and they sell out. Kind of similar to this. I got lucky. I had on notifications for A6. I knew that they were coming out what day, what time. And right at midnight, even before it was supposed to be the official launch time, I was able to go there, buy it, and have it shipped. So yeah, but these sold out really quick. Uh, they are the first colorway that is a GR. There was another one with a wake, which I kind of didn't like as much. The purple and the gold and then there's a pink and kind of this maroon or aqua blue wasn't a huge fan of it it was just a little bit too loud for me and it was something i felt like i wouldn't wear compared to these with the black the beige the silver and then just that gray and the white on the midsole it's perfect like this for me is a perfect colorway it's really great really nice uh the first thing i have to say is the materials on this sneaker are kind of lackluster i mean that's kind of what you have to expect with a6 sneakers sub 140 150 they usually will cut and not really give you as great of materials when it comes to suede, new bucks, and even leathers. Um, all of the suede and new bucks, leathers on this sneaker feel, well, there's really just a new buck and suede, feel really synthetic and fake. Um, they might be genuine and real, but just as a touch, they do not feel like the best quality. Even looking at the edges, they look really thin, and it just feels like one of those lower end, more budget, quality of their sneakers kind of something you would see go on sale that doesn't really sit sell out very well but they got lucky and this is a sneaker that's doing extremely well for them um yeah there's really nice details have the hit of yellow on the back i think it's really great have the a6 tongue right there and yeah for the craftsmanship on this pair of sneakers i would say it's actually really good compared to a lot of other sneakers out there and a lot that i've reviewed recently there's no glue stains, there's no messed up stitching, nothing of the sort. I kind of went over and looked at it for quite a while, like way too long, like maybe a couple hours, just staring at it, trying to find any defects. That's something I've been trying to do more often with the, before I do these reviews, see if I can find something. And I really can't see anything that is a glaring issue or an issue at all. It's just the materials are really lackluster and I shouldn't be upset for the pricing, but this colorway being as nice as it is, I wish that the materials were going to be a little bit nicer. Otherwise, the sneaker's easily a 9 out of 10 for me. It would be a 10 out of 10. The materials were just slightly better. Um, when it does come to sizing for this pair of sneakers, I recommend you go a half size down. Got this in a size 13. Wish I would have got a 12 and a half. Um, they sold on the website where I can't go back and get a 12 and a half now. So I'm just going to stick with my size 13 and just tighten up the laces a bit more. But when putting on the shoes and Having the laces not too tight, just how I usually like them. I can stick two fingers in the back, which is a sign. It's way too loose. You fit one, you're good to go. Two, too much. I got that from wear testers, and it's actually been something that's helped me out over the years and it's been pretty useful. Um, but yeah, really great comfort, really nice pair of shoes. I wouldn't recommend these for running. I would stick to lifestyle only. The technology in these is pretty outdated, pretty old. If you want to get some better, if you want to get some sneakers for running, get some of A6 more modern running sneakers, or you can go to New Balance and get some of their Fresh Foam, which I'm a huge fan of, or some Ultra Booster Adidas. That's kind of like where I get all my running shoes. But yeah, these are really great, really nice. Um, Just that material really sucks, in my opinion. Like, I wish they were slightly better. Like, everything on this just feels, it doesn't feel cheap, but it feels less quality compared to when you go to the Keanu 14s or even some of the gel like threes that have come out in the past couple of years. It just feels a little bit lackluster, but I don't want to end the review on a sour note. These are an amazing pair of shoes and I do plan to get more pairs. Uh, there's a pair I plan to get pretty soon. It's a 
Uh, I'm gonna have it right on the screen. I don't remember exactly what it looks like, but it's like, a, I think a peach or salmon color. Huge fan of those. I would wear those constantly. But yeah, really good pair of shoes. And with that being said, that's pretty much all for today's review. I feel like I rambled a lot, but uh, if you enjoy videos like this, please leave a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me of any shoes from ASICs that you've really been enjoying recently or you've wanted to try out but haven't pulled the trigger on. All right, see you in the next one. Stick around for the B-roll and on foot portion. Peace. Thank you.